Let's do this. Oh, we're chapter 13. Yo. Holy crap. We moving. We, we, we moving along. We moving. Our guy has seen some Shiza. You know, not a whole lot of cult stuff going on in here. Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah uh, is one of those bastards. I gotta find her quick. It is weird that he goes from just like super calm and creepy to just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath and she's gonna die soon if I don't do something. That was also really weird what he said and how he said it. Yeah. <laughs> hither. He was Nobody says cult. hither. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Who are we? We're gonna Indiana Jones and shit. We're Bob the. Oh, I was gonna say Bob the Builder, but okay. Does Indiana Jones break down doors? I guess Bob the Builder doesn't either. I know he does a lot of things where he like will slide down ropes and stuff and jump into airplanes. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen Indiana Jones. It's been a while since I've seen Bob the Builder. I. I'm an adult, sir. Another <laughs> volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. There are... These are the last entries. Oh, wait. Go back. I want to read it. Read them all? I want to read that last one because that last... It was getting into how the pastor... But the, the pastor is basically creating the Cthulhu religion. Oh. Uh, I, the senses are no longer reliable. Neither is logic. In the harbor master's office, an old sea map triggered new residual images. Their number, their precision, their nature. Everything points towards them being, in reality, visual and sound hallucinations. However, the information that they provided matched the proof found throughout the investigation, beginning with the information on the miraculous catch. If Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller were really on board the Skyla... The Sela? Sicilian? <laughs> and founded the cult, what age must they really be? Ooh, uh -oh. Now I'm chapter 13, and I still have a hard time navigating this thing. We still have, we still have those pictures. They're really good pictures. Uh, what, where's volume 5? It'd be the last one, I'd imagine. Or did we just not pick it up? Or are they just not in order? They're not in order. LOL. Volume 1. Where's the fifth one? No fifth volume for you. Huh. What the hell? Oh. Go back to it then. Or no, you can't, can't touch it anymore. No. Nope. Ah! Well, alright. There goes that. <laughs> well, there's hidden objects in here, sir. I mean, you can always reference the... the I can reference the video for my own personal knowledge, but yeah. I wanted to hear how it ended. Oh, that was Looks not like very... a page from a log from 1847. 53 north, we 53 are starving. west. We are starving. The fish seems to have deserted these waters. If I don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe in the tales of a miraculous catch. They almost did the trademark. Merciful God, help me. Where is that? I imagine that's the first bit. Because that's the top half, the middle's kind of faded, and there's the bottom half. 57 north, 51 west. We sighted an enormous whale further to the south, the biggest we've ever seen. Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is the miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it home to feed our families. So he was like, yes. So I wonder if eating the meat uh, caused him to heal his leg, like he just grew one back. Yeah, probably. I mean, if my parents had an amputated leg, I don't think I'd keep it. <laughs> it's kind of kind of weird. Office key to the Wayman station. Yep. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. 33 north, 53 west. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It practically gutted our ship with these tentacles. 
I don't know how. My harpoon finally pierced the skull of the monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. So I think this is just our lore dump right now. Yeah. They're going to hit us with that knowledge. So Fuller was a fisherman? Fuller was on the, yeah. Well, he was on the on the crew. This must be the... Yeah. All the stuff we probably need. <laughs> I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. What are you? <laughs> Shut up. Up. Oh, right he mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. Thirty-seven North, sixty-three West. The whole crew is descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city, and of, of a sleeping god. Madness. Locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has twelve men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Aw, poor whoever that is. That was only the... That was page four, so is there a page three? This is where we came down. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. We got an Indiana Jones, this. Yup. So I know we walked Hello. Hi, friend. Come back. Where'd Where'd you go? go? (sighs) He's gone. So I know we walk in knowing this is a Cthulhu game, but I still enjoy how it unfolds. It's like, hey, something weird in your face. But it does unravel really nicely. Yeah. I feel like it's a little jarring. (laughs) How it's like, (gasps) normal Uh, and in your face, Cthulhu and occultism. Yeah. He's not going to get that book, huh? I'd say go upstairs and interact with that hook or whatever. Yeah. Well, let's go do that. I was trying to see if I could find that because that was there were four logs apparently. There was also Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Got to find a way to get through. I still don't know if she's in on it or not. I don't think she's willingly in on it. Yeah. You think she's just drawn to it or? I think she's drawn to it, and I do find it interesting that her husband was trying to it seemed like he genuinely wanted to save her from it yeah because i mean he was drawn to it from doesn't work all right this should stop the cart from moving this should help me get the tank swinging. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Okay. Just, I understand it only goes one way, but... Doesn't work. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Oh, that knife you found. Oh. Or your lighter. <laughs> Wait, is there something in the seal? No. Okay, it's just the light. Point. Nobody heard that. Tactical breach. Oh wait, we gained we gained the points. What are we gonna put them in? Uh, well, we're already beefy, so we are beefy. Uh, I'd say psychology. Psychology. We suck at talking. Okay. I was gonna say spot hidden. Finding everything pretty well. Well, it undiscovered object will not appear in game. Meaning, if we don't, if our stats not high enough, then it just won't appear. Mm. I'm good for either. Uh, Psychology. You want to get that up? I want to get that up. Okay. We're expert psychos now. 
<laughs> psychotic psychos. Psy- psychotic psychologist. Yes. Oh, we're psychotic. Yes. Were we psychotic last time? Yes, we were psychotic the moment we were like, yes, Leviathan. <laughs> Come take me, daddy. <laughs> okay. Is that who he's going to be now? That's, is Leviathan yes, just daddy? that's what he is. One, two, four. <laughs> that's going to drive me nuts. I think the third one was in the office. Like, the one that gave us the Cairo coordinates or whatever. I know that's not what you want to hear. But I think that was the third one. (laughs) It's alright. Let's go. We've kind of already did this for all it's worth. Uh, hi, meat. Did you see how much meat they have? Oh, yeah. Is that the Leviathan? Like, what's left of it? What is that? Yep. Thing. Is that thing? No. Sarah? Target. We're going crazy. Did it sneeze on us? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Did we die? Uh, yes. Hello? <laughs> We're full on crazy now, sir. Hello. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room. It's us. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Fate leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moment, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its The game's scolding us for being too nice. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Shalom. The whispers were interesting. They were English. Oh, we can actually read that. I don't want to, but... Huh. Oh, there you go. Insane Fitzroy took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Fitzroy encouraged the men all day. They are in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can hear the screams of their comrades turned mad. Some of them hurt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them. Others chose to embrace them. Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in his biblical nature. I told them to get rid of it before it's too late. The thing is not the work of God. Oh. Yeah, you no, can't grab that. An old log. Ooh. Captain Hamilton's log. 42 north, 70 west. We have sailed from the island of dark water towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. I don't believe in these tales. It's not a good time for us. My men haven't seen the slightest trace of a whale for quite a while. If this season doesn't improve, they will no longer wish to serve on the Skyla. 47 north, 55 west. We are not the only hunters here. While we were, we were looking for prey, we found dead whales, a dozen of them, drifting their entrails and exposed. They had been shred as if they had been attacked by a huge predator. It's very strange. Perhaps it is a sign from God. Perhaps it is this good catch that we have long hoped for. We must find it, whatever the risk. Belonging to the captain of the sea. The pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Oh, are we smarter? Aha. Progression! No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got quite a ways to go. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. So we have. Okay, Fitzroy so there, the Fitzroy. husband's there, Fitzroy, and then the. I don't see who the second one from the right is. Well, it's obviously the doctor. 
Yeah, the doctor, he's got the whole, like, Hellboy doctor eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Hellboy, but there's a doctor in there that's just straight up, that's all he wears is, like, the goggles. <laughs> yes. Okay, well. Shall we consult? <laughs> that other one was Cat. Just the whole, whole different thing. She's the end, though. She's Cthulhu. Oh, that's interesting. We had a whole like little 3D image of it. Stellar, stellar larva, offspring of the Earth. Leviathan is seen, feared, worshipped, and named by men. It is linked by its dreams to the one who sleeps and will not find rest until its divine progenitor is free. There is no greater predator on Earth, and yet this being that feeds on huge creatures will never directly attack men. It will instill fear, the dreams of Rahalena. And finally, madness into the minds of those that it chooses to serve its designs. Cursed are those who cross its path, and more cursed still, those who hear its voice, because for them, no salvation in death. Yep, yeah, that's a cool... That's a cool photo. And then all these were torn from that book. the log book. Kind of upset it didn't give me my... Oh, maybe. Yep. Yep. Okay. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to his ab abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. Oh. No. Oh. She must have been the one that was, like, squished. Uh... I'm glad our investigation's up high. Yeah. You will regret this later. You effed up. So, look at all that meat. They eat his flesh while he's still alive. Oh! Yeah, they never killed it. I bet it just regrows and that's what they do, is that... Oh, in case you don't get in the normal way? Or to hide? Well, there she is. That seems weird. Oh, hello? Oh, hello? 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 Oh, there it is. Uh, no. No, 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 no. What? Yeah. <laughs> We're going back up. We're not doing this right now. <laughs> But we know the grate is there for some reason. Uh, yes? Okay. Let's just go F it. We pick the thing. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, there's the other side of the thing. This is where we were the whole time. Ah! <laughs> ah finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? If this is the first time seeing his Boy, eyes. Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no, no, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See... It's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan. I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Um, no. Can we not? Uh, hello? No. Absolutely not. You said don't, right? Yeah. Apparently it doesn't matter. So what was the point? Ugh. Okay. You're just eating it? Don't eat the meat. Damn it! Damn it! Why? Oh... Uh... That's gross. Let me take I... a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. 
I I've heard spinal taps hurt like, like a bitch. From Leviathan's flesh. Take it, shoot him, shoot him. Take the gun. Take the gun. Take the gun. I, I killed him. Switch. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, Daddy. Crazy. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I hate it when you slowly turn and look at me. <laughs> like, are you really screaming over this? Just uh. What? What? <laughs> what? What? I think we've gone full Thulu. What do you think? Nothing's happening. Um. Do me a favor. Back up. Go back across for, to the boiler and look down. Like look, look down at the ground underneath the the floor, like behind you. Oh, here. Yeah, to the left. Okay, that's what I was trying to see. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to see if it resembled her painting. Pipes. I mean, it, and it said so. Oh, you died. <laughs> said like, no, not that way. Stupid. I don't think you go that way. <laughs> okay. Guess we're going this way. You're a swell guy, Cthulhu. Telling me where to go and whatnot. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. What do you want from me? <laughs> Your soul. Your soul is mine. Uh, uh, maybe that's just a puzzle. Maybe, there, maybe there's only one great. certain path you can take. We're, not, we're too stupid for this. Ah, wait. God bless it. So, try the one, two, three. Oh, never mind. Uh... Try the lever. Ah, it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be the top, that middle one. But I can't get over there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh wait, look up. I want to see the the doom vortex. That's kind of cool. I'm done. <laughs> Gonna be the bendy one. This is why you was smart. Dang it! Um, I do think we make a good team when it comes to detective games. I remember where useless shit is, and you remember how to get there. <laughs> Yay! Cause yeah, I'm like I. Uh, the third one, I think the one that's the red pipe. That one. Uh, oh. It goes to nothing. Yes. Yay! Yay! I didn't mean that, but it worked anyway. Well, that's the one I was following. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I got it. Good team. I got this. Now, if I can find out how to get over here without falling to the void. Go to the third one. Oh, there's only three. Um. Oh. Ah, let's see. So... Crap, I forgot. Not that. Mm, okay, keep... Nope, nope. Oh, ah. What? Ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I, I, I had it. You were like, no, no, no. I had help. I played Hellblade. I should have been... There we go. I should be used to these type Crap, puzzles. Crap, I didn't... Okay, hold on. Okay. Mm. I, I feel like it's... What? Just, just, just do the one that's de that red one, that glowy one right there. That's not the one it's going to, but. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> oh, from here. Okay. I got it. Oh, 
the one that you first run into over there? The one that's um, from our north, I guess? If it's four of them? Yeah, it's gotta be that one, right? I s oh, there's nothing there. Oh, there you only see the one. It's the west. East, sorry. I don't know my directions. East. It's the east one. Is it, though? Yeah, it's the only one that's actually there. The pipe doesn't Go east. I okay. promise you. Okay. I will give you a cookie if you are right. Ooh, cookies. All right. That one. I don't think it's this one. I do. Oh, cookies and cheesecake. I know you're... Okay, I guess it's a... It's like, I know your tricks. Nope. It's actually the way. Puzzles! Yay! Up. <laughs> we blew it up. Oh, we are an arsonist. Is he controlling us to, like, set him free? I don't know. We're so bad at running away. Oh. Uh, you're already dead. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, to be fair, I didn't see. I was like, can I get under this? Yeah. I just like how we immediately go and blow things up. It's so chaotic, man. Go, 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 go. go, go. go. God, all the oil. Oh, up. Not that way. That's what I figured. Oh god, the whole thing's gonna blow. Not that way. Oh boy. Ah. Not that way. <laughs> Not that way. Crouch. That, crouch, that, crouch. 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 Oh. Let's see, we're stupid. I mean, you and I knew to crouch. We would. Mr. Detective. We, we totally would have been saved. F this guy. My god, we set a nuke off. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, God. Here's Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not going to hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. <laughs> He's like, do it, man. I'll see three more of the smoke. You will follow your destiny. What? In his awakening. Indiana Jonesing this shit and failing. <laughs> <laughs> we we failed something. Uh... I see you. You cannot escape my awareness. He's pissed. I follow your wanderings, your choices, your attempts to. him back into the ocean. Uh. This never ends well. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 14, The Coastal Cave. Pierce finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, at the end which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station, and after a final confrontation with Leviathan, he passed out. As has been every moment of this game. And Just, he wakes up on a couch. <laughs> if we're on a couch, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I 
And you look, and it's like a, a broken sea couch or something. <laughs> yeah. So, that vision was really quick. I didn't really get much from it. Are we back at the mansion? <coughs> Right in my ear. The voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. Did we hear your voices? Oh, you're, uh... Can you check our sanity real quick, sir? Oh. Is the town on fire? I think this is it. The end of days. Passes out, falls down, this dies. Uh, oh, did we just pass out again? Stand up. Walk. Come on, bears, pull it together. Is somebody oh. there? Hey. Who are you? This is, uh... uh... Where am I? Oh, alright, now you're kind of back in control. No. <laughs> in control, but... Kinda... Oh, hello. The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Oh, there's that painting of you? Okay. Don't stand in the circle behind you, sir. That we're probably standing in. <laughs> Yeah. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you've fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. Uh, we're not... I guess we're... We're Master Investigation. You are in a loop? I think we go with that. Okay. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Thor. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Uh, crazy speak, I guess. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, 
I was called here by a higher power. I think that was yes. the wrong decision. <laughs> All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Fantastic. <sighs> eh, why not? Fuck it. Sarah, I feel her calling. I feel like that's the worst decision right now, is any of those. I think that's giving into our sanity. <laughs> you have one last thing to accomplish. Our psychotic sanity, sir? Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight the fate. Neither them, nor you. I think we're bringing on the end of days, sir. What's that? I think we're bringing on the end of days, sir. <laughs> you know what? Us as a society, we deserve this. <laughs> Shut up! Silence! Stop! Go away! Stop! Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. I think we did get the worst ending, sir. <laughs> Especially with that face. I don't think it's over quite. Yep, there it is. Sarah. I told you when we were doing all this that we gave in to the Thulu. We're going, we're going maximum Thulu here. We're going maximum screw this planet. <laughs> like I said, I said we deserve it. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to kill us. We did get the worst ending. They don't know that yet. Second worst? <laughs> I don't know how many there really are to be honest. Let's see. Uh, can I get on the boat? I cannot get on the boat. Oh, there's a ladder. That's where we just came down. I thought we just came down the that. No. Alabaster Point. Ooh. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he makes decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Oh, this is where we go in. This so is where we have everyone over. I have a love hate for these loading screens. Why? They take forever. Eh. Eh. I'm just excited. You're excited for the end of days? I'm that's, it's a party, yo. <laughs> I think there's a movie called The End of the World. Well, that's literally what they did. It's just partied. What was that? Uh, there was like a... I think there's a movie called The End of the World where all the celebrities just party in a mansion until like, yeah. it passes over. Like, the, the floor... Like, the, the ground literally splits open and eats people. Reality as we know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Oh, she is waiting. Full Thulu. What have they done to me? You ate the freaking flesh, you idiot. You took the meds. We ate the fishy. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? 
What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. End of days. <laughs> I see tentacles. Oh wait, look back. I didn't see the tentacles. Oh damn. Stand up and Sorry. There you are. You never give up. That oh, is not there it you. Is. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could, even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I'm enjoying the tentacles. <laughs> You got fucked up? You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak. Of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? I'm really getting tired of getting choked out by this guy. Yep. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medicines. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. That noise is like killing me. <laughs> <laughs> So, if we have the choice to ruin everything or save it, what are we doing, sir? We're ruining everything, right? <sighs> I don't know. Like, I want to be chaotic and I want us to destroy the planet, but I feel like that's bad. I mean, of course it's bad, but... It's right there. I'm almost there. All this cult. Yep. Why can't I be on a floaty rock? That's cool. <laughs> oh, something was there and they disappeared. Ugh, the bookkeep. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it is. Here you are at last, truth seeker. You 
was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. We are not an occultist master. Uh, are you crazy? So this is like full Thulu. This is us still trying to be I'm... grounded in reality. <sighs> she didn't want to be part of this. The husband didn't want her to be part of this. But we also like to see the world burn. I have seen things. <laughs> Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. Of course not. <laughs> one man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Don't we have that? Well, I, I don't guess think we, we did, but I don't think we kept it. I did kind of like how far away we could see the glyphs and stuff, and then now it's like a muddled mess. <laughs> He's so dead. Uh, perform the counter ritual? Let's do it. We can save it. Yeah? Yeah. That's what we saw in the yeah. vision, so... got exercised. I don't know. Or we died. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not exercised, sir. I think we took it, the Thulu. as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you.
Welcome to the after credits. Here we're just going to talk about what we thought about the game. This is Lee and Dakota's here with me. Hello. Hello. So that was Call of Cthulhu. Um, your thoughts on the game in general. What did you think of the story? I know that during while we were playing it, you had we had this discussion of why Bloodborne was better because you didn't know going in, but even with this one, it's called Call of Cthulhu. You know going in that it's a Cthulhu game. I still enjoyed it, though. Yeah, that, that was kind of my thing, too. Or that was my big issue with the game was that you, you know it's Cthulhu going in, so you know the weird stuff's going to happen, and you're, you're just waiting for it. So you know every, there's going to be tentacle creatures and fish creatures. and I enjoyed it for what it was, though. I think... Honestly, I think it had been just a detective game and not, you know, if they had just called it Edward Pierce Master Detective and... and yeah, and they wouldn't it, have sold, though. I wonder how... I honestly wonder how well it did sell. I know... I want to say... Well, it came out the same weekend Red Dead did, or like a week before. It was a week like before that. Red yeah. Dead. So... But it's a completely different game from Red Dead. I, I don't know. think Red Dead has any detective anything in it. I don't know. No, no, no. But I'm just saying as as far as, you know, somebody buying a game and whatnot. But uh, story-wise, no, I thought it was it was, a, it was good. It was entertaining. It's definitely something I wouldn't recommend going back and replaying. But Unless I think, you really want those alternate endings. Yeah, if you're a trophy hunter or you wanted the alternate endings, um, I think, you know, you go for it. It's easy. Yeah, it's very easy It's a very do. simple game. I think but... the only one that you have to look really look up for is the blue bottles. <laughs> blue bottles and not drinking the first... Uh, whiskey glass you whiskey. see. <laughs> yeah. This will affect your destiny. And it was... And that was the other thing, too, is we afterwards looked up the achievements, and that was the disappointment, was, like, all these are story-based... And a lot of your choices don't matter as much as you'd hope they would. And that's kind of hard. A lot of, It's hard on games like this to do where your choices actually matter. You know, I wish it was more of our choices matter. I think it's yeah. a total of, like, really four? Four different choices to get the two alt or the two secret endings. But yeah. we get the two normal endings that everybody gets. Because it depends on who you saved and then if you were a dick to a widow. Really, yeah. that's... Uh, and that was really... Or if what... you, I think there was one if you chose all the... Uh, the Cthulhu one. Well, yeah, but that was like a huge early factor that, but nothing else mattered. Saving the cop at the end as a zombie didn't matter. Yeah. When Bradley, I think was his name, didn't matter. Also recording this like after we played the game. Um, <laughs> and then who you, uh, just everything, how the detective things went, how what you discovered, how occulty you got. Yeah, it kind of played in with some of your choices, but not really. Being more medically inclined didn't really do anything. Yeah, uh, and I we actually watched a video on on something about this because we kind of where where this is recorded a little bit after where we let everything marinate and sit and kind of think on everything and bring you our thoughts after and not just our knee jerk reactions. Um, I forgot what my original point was going to be here, but How about the medical books. Oh, no, that's what it was. We watched a video, and a guy just put all his points into strength, and just basically, you don't have to solve any of the puzzles, you just brute force your way through everything. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Is, yeah. And then, of course, we failed the first strength chest. Yeah, we failed, yeah. So, I mean, it's all a bunch of different avenues to get to the same place. Which, that's interesting. It just, I wish it mattered more. Yeah. Like, we were like, oh, we're all fit to fight off tentacle monsters. Never had to. Oh, we were pretty good at eloquence at the beginning of the game. Didn't matter. Still sucked. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, it, it sounds like we're ragging on it, but I had a good time playing it. I would recommend it to anyone who... Um, I recommend anyone to play it at least once. Play it once, yeah. Um, Technical-wise, gameplay-wise, what did you... I mean, I know you weren't the one playing it, but from a mechanic standpoint, what did you like and dislike about it? I did like... The different avenues, as I said, my biggest thing is I wish the choices mattered a little bit more and that there was a little bit more guidance. Like, there was clues, but you had to find the clues in a certain order. We were finding stuff like, oh, at the end, there's that box of cigarettes on the counter or the, the bench or whatever. Like, that's definitely different. We're going to run into that. But we couldn't pick it up until we found, like, the other three clues beforehand right. in order. And I was like, most detective games, from what I understand, it's free for all. You find what you find, and what you miss, you miss. Right. And this one, this had a lot of hand holding in it. I would mm -hmm. say, 
um, a lot of you can't do A unless you find B, and the story will not progress unless you do. I think we died outside of that ridiculous part. Oh, we died. I think because um, I edited it all like for the short time frame. I think we died like a total of five times. Yeah, and I think all like four of those all came at the same place. Not not including when we didn't know how to navigate the invisible floors. That yeah, doesn't count. But... That was that was dumb. <laughs> no, uh, when we were running around as uh, what's her head and trying the to doctor lady. No, or or no, cat. Cat. No, not cat. The uh, the girl that the painter. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, yeah. We were running around as Sarah trying to ward off the demons. And I just, I wish it was like this, like, look for glyphs that look like this one. Yeah. Like, anything would have been helpful. But they're like, find the glyph. And we're like, okay, we're the... We're looking on it? walls. And, and maybe it was a lot easier than we made it look like. But that was, that was the only part that I found really frustrating. Well, there was that and the lantern puzzle. Like, lantern, the lantern, we figured the lantern puzzle. It was already. still... It was like a weird time gate. Like, yeah, there's the, we were, the, like filling space in the game. It felt weird. It felt, yeah, it felt tacked on. But you got to have some kind of gameplay element to you. I'd honestly say, and then of course, like you said, the illusion of choice. I'd say that for those reasons, you definitely it's a one-time play thing. Because once you realize your choices don't matter, it really kind of takes a lot out of a game. But game you have that's games like Telltale's that do all that crap that. Your choices really don't matter in the end, so. And but at least in. Uh, Telltale. Yes, yeah, sorry, I always mess up their name. At least their the choices change your interactions with the characters. To my understanding, that didn't really change much. We could have been a complete dick to Cat apparently, and it would have been fine. Yeah. Like it would have been the same in the end. Um. Uh, what did you think of our protagonist, Edward? Um. I, I think our, we shared the biggest complaint that his hair has magical properties. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he's, it's normal in one second, and then something bad happens, and it just flattens. It's like it's disheveled, and then it's back, and it's fine again. Yeah. Um, kind of dry. <laughs> he was kind of dry. Yeah, but... but it was a detective game of multiple avenues, allegedly, so I can see why they did that. He's very, but he's very cliche. The yeah. cliche, disheveled detective. But, uh, like, overall, I think the voice actor did a good job. Considering how little backstory you're actually given on him, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Like, you didn't, he, he was a veteran, and apparently he just sucks as a detective. <laughs> like, he doesn't pick up cases because he doesn't think they matter. And that's, like, all you get. And that's, like, that's all that this entire story runs off. And, and he just develops in however you kind of try yeah, to yeah. shape him. So that was kind of interesting. He's a poor man's uh, Booker DeWitt. I do kind of want to replay the game and just try and make myself as psychotic as early as possible. <laughs> and, and I want to see, do, like, we, I noticed that the masks on the people, we interpret them early on as masks because we can't, I'm assuming from HP lore, that you just cannot perceive them as act, actual tentacle faces. Right. So and I'm then, wondering if you just break psychosis early, maybe it changes the game Probably more. not. Probably not. Probably but. not. <laughs> but it would be a fun experience. No, it would. Um, Especially when you're trying to make yourself go psychotic, yeah. that's an effort. <laughs> I think we we got the two normal endings, uh, the yeah, ritual the and the counter ritual. Yeah, we didn't get the secret endings, but I know there's a, there's one where it's because I think both of them hinge on the fact that we didn't save the right person. Yeah, we we were we was a blind playthrough, but I think we did okay. But um, I think the other secret endings is one. He, where we kill ourselves and one where we just like no we're not gonna do it and she just kills herself she's like fine then sarah's like eh, throws her off off throws herself off a cliff so <laughs> you can't finish your job you're gonna be the one in charge of my death go tell my dad about it <laughs> and we got all of like two seconds of cthulhu before cutting to black but i'm the this is in a mighty I two seconds i love the two seconds of cthulhu I, it wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. Yeah, like, part of me wishes there was more, but then I'd actually get to see the model, and then I would judge the crap out of it. Yeah, well, judging by the rest of the models and cats, super robotic That was the other talking. thing, too, mechanically. Like, who do they have as, like, references for their women? Yeah. And it wasn't just the women, but it was mostly the women that were super noticeable. Like, what are you doing? With the hands? Yeah, everyone talked with their hands. It was 
but like I talk with my hands. <laughs> these people were these people were like doing super sign language. I'm assuming it was Thulu sign language because it was, it was exaggerated as crazy. It was great. Um, but overall, overall, I had fun with it. I honestly um, wouldn't go play it again. I might go back and get trophies and do just a trophy, a completionist run. run. Yeah, I, I like doing that kind of thing, but. Overall, if I I don't think I would enjoy playing the story again. I think it would just be just to play it to to get the endings and yeah. call it good. Because I think all four endings are linked to achievements, right? I think so. I think so. Um, so, I'm um, your overall recommendation. My overall recommendation is at least give it a one one playthrough go. It's not a long game. It's I think it was about eight to ten hours. Eight to ten hours, and that was with us being completely blind. But apparently, compared to other people, figuring out the puzzles at a decent pace. Except for the floor puzzle. <laughs> well, I, uh, the floor puzzle and us not realizing that the glyphs of the were the same yeah. as the big glyph. Yeah, we got stuck a couple times, but overall, uh, if I had, to, I would say, yeah, play through it once. I if <laughs> Blockbuster would still was still a thing, I'd say rent it. I mean, game but, flies a thing, but yeah. That's expensive when I last checked. Unless you're going to sponsor us Gamefly, then please. Please. <laughs> By all means. No, uh, I would say definitely uh, once it, if it gets down to like 20 bucks, I'd say buy it. Buy it, play it once. It's a good time. Uh, I enjoyed myself, so definitely don't regret playing it. <laughs> and so. I know going a little bit further into it, I know that I'm super into H.P. Lovecraft, and I know you're aware of it. I don't know how in-depth you know the lore. I like the. Did that influence I, you at all? I like the idea of it. Did did being into the lore influence it at all? Is I, that what you're asking me? It was really fun for me to know exactly what everything, like the little cool little Easter eggs were, that and like calling it as I was seeing it. And of course, you're like, well, I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> well, I know like, uh, uh, what is it? The fishing hamlet. I, uh, shot over Innsmouth. Yeah. Well, I knew about that. I, I've. You know bits and pieces and like i saw while we were in the fishing village and i was like oh yeah people here are going to turn into fish people soon and my favorite twist was the captain yeah the captain i didn't see that coming that was definitely out of left field for me i guess maybe and we should have also but... when i was rewatching the endings um fuller is still alive even though we shoot him is he? I didn't realize that until I looked at the subtitles that Dr. Fuller's the one talking about you being in the asylum. So he, even after we do everything in, in our original ending, he still lives. Unless we're crazy in our own head. You never know. And that and that's the whole thing, is we were technically psychotic at the end of that game. Yeah. So nothing may have happened. Pierce has seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> or thinks he has. Yeah. Um... But no, I would say it was it was nice. I mean, I knowing some of the so knowing some of the lore, I could definitely pick out here and there. And that goes back to my point: had this just been a detective game, and you show up in a fishing village, you don't know that uh, that it's gonna be Lovecraft. That you don't it's gonna you take don't that start turn. trying to put things together, right? Right, and that it almost feels spoilerish. You know, you hear the great catch or what, <laughs> the miraculous catch. TM trademarked <laughs> copy copyright pending um you hear that and you're like oh it's it's some kind of it's some Thulu Thulu monster. fish monster that everybody ate and it's going nuts you go down and they have all the miraculous catch oils everywhere or whatever it was yeah everyone um, got an oil when the thing was caught yeah like, that's suspicious that's suspicious yeah, i guess we shouldn't have been so surprised about the captain just being as that picture was there with the... The picture was there, with the leg was there, but he... I guess it was because he wasn't as involved in the in the beginning, yeah. and that's why it was... Because we, me and you were back and forth the entire time of, like, does Cat know, does Cat not know? Yeah. We're bad detectives. <laughs> so, uh, wrapping up, do you have anything else you wanted to uh, talk about? Um, It was a nice homage to the Cthulhu mythos. There, were, of course, there's some gripes with the actual game itself, but it's still, I, I agree. Like twenty bucks, go play it. Totally. Yeah, I agree. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate everything you guys do. Love you. Good night.